has to kind of ride the break just along the fringe. We'll turn from right to left at the end, about the last 12 feet. Oh, that looks steamy. Oh, not at all. Brilliant putt. Well, he's had a couple of 67s this week, uh, Stephen Gallagher. And he finished birdie birdie for his uh, 74 on day two. Tell you what, this six hole, bit of a beast today, back into the wind, predominant wind here. Third hardest fairway to hit. Can really narrow in. Heart a little in mouth for uh, Gallagher. Steve Gallagher, this is awkward, flags only eight on. And over the bunker, there's only four yards, and that was ambitious. Just grabbed it, snagged it, shut the club face. Not much to work with here either. That is, oh, that is so good. Oh, Ali. Just landed that perfectly into the upslope. Fabulous bunker shot. And what a good par that is. And he's just loving having his son Jack on the bag. He said this morning, he said, what could be better than traveling the world with your boy? Pointing left, trouble. Oh, that's big trouble. Reloading, Stephen Gallagher. Tony Johnston and Don Boulay, alongside myself, Richard Kaufman in the commentary box. We've got Jamie Spence and Alison Whitaker out on the course. It is proving to be a tough day. Obviously found his first ball, but it was unplayable. So the provisional, oh. which he hit beautifully, didn't count. And now, oh my goodness me. This is Stephen Gallagher looking for ball number two. He's not walking back to the tee again, is he? Fifth shot, and he's still on the tee here on seven. It's going to be a massive wait once again for that final group. Well, that's more like it. Yeah, third time lucky. I don't know if that's the appropriate word. Mm. Problem with that now. It's a quadruple, and you know that there are very few chances to get it back. Played the last hole in eight. Oh, Steve. Stephen Gallagher. Ah, a couple of birdies in a row, getting himself back into things a little, despite obviously the huge mishaps. above the 12th green Stephen Gallagher looking a little left oh what a bounce and what a response to that eight shrugged it off hasn't he so well Stephen Gallagher now Stephen Gallagher for birdie to get to seven under you know just a few weeks ago Kurt Kitayama won the Oman Open after they're making an eight. And Stephen Gallagher, no one has made more birdies than him this week. He's made 21. <clears throat> Had to hit three with well, 40 shots at the par four seventh. Two of them lost. The provisional had, couldn't be used. And uh, despite a brilliant fight back, I'm afraid that bogey has really dented his hopes. What's this? So, in case you're not keeping up, this is for Stephen Gallagher, who, yes, had an eight earlier today to 
get into a share of the lead. This this is unbelievable. And he just missed a short putt. He just three putted 14. Yeah. Yeah. Stephen Gallagher in a three-way tie. Just got a. He's aiming well to the left. Look at that. He's aiming at the left edge of that bunker in the back. It's drifting to the middle of the green. That's a good shot. Stevie and Jack. I'm sure Mother is glued to the television right now. This to take the outright lead. Okay, but a good stroke, very positive. Right centre, straight in, well done. Two, two of the three co-leaders have had eight on their scorecard. Back on the tee, Stephen Gallagher. Okay, yeah, the fairway is quite undulating, you're just praying finish on a flat lie or even better on a little upslope and you don't have a lot of control of what it's doing down there but I think that's fine it's a tiny target up there so shallow yeah it's a hard enough hole to pull the right club going up that hill at the best of times with this wind even harder what an absolute beauty He's made it. He has made it. Stephen Gallagher hits the front for the very first time at this Hero Indian Open, and he does it at the 71st hole. Oh, it's a stunner. It's a ripper. Part one done. You've got to be playing for the center of the green. Just let it release back. Good swing. I think he likes this. What a shot from Stephen Gallagher. It's coming back a little as well. Amazing. Brilliant. Just brilliant. There's not a man out on this tour that will not be seriously pleased for Steve Gallagher if he wins this, not one. Well, it won't be his the biggest win of his career, but it will be the one he'll cherish the most because he's got his son on the bag. I think it's going to be quite emotional. Stephen Gallagher has surely wrapped things up here at the Hero Indian Open. But he can't celebrate just yet. He's trying to rein himself in. <laughs> He's got it. Well done, Masahiro Kawamura. Five of the season for Kawamura, but the emotions hitting Stephen Gallagher that he's a champion again at the age of 44. That's how it all finished. Gallagher, top of the pile. Stephen, first of all, congratulations. We have to ask, through seven holes, how did you keep yourself in there mentally on a really tough day out there today? Yeah, it was a bit disappointing. I got off to a kind of ropey start and then five off the tee at seven. And it wasn't until I stood in the eighth tee and I thought, I'm actually only five behind here. It was quite calm, to be honest. I didn't, I had just hit two poor shots, you know. Um, and I stood in the eighth tee and I thought, I'm only five behind. I hit my drive right down the middle and I thought, you know what, in this golf course with the weather and the wind swirling, just stay in, just stay in touch and then um, I finished it off great. Is there a more nail-biting finish really than the last three holes here? Talk us through the last six holes. When did you think that you really had a chance? Um, 
I didn't actually till I seen the board uh, on 16. I seen the board on 16 that I was tied. And um, 16, 17, 18. You know, 16, the wind's off the right. You're just trying to get it pin high up the left. And then 17 is just one of those, probably the best shot I've hit for, for years. My second shot in there, it was a right in between club and a, I just gripped down a little seven and hit it to six foot. And then my two shots at the driver four on at the last were... Uh, I just thought to myself, just what Matt, I played with Matt Wallace last year when he won it and um, and what he'd done in the playoff, I just thought, just do the same as him and then it worked. Now all wins are special, but having your son Jack on the bag, that's got to rank up there. How nice was it to share this moment with him today? Yeah, it was brilliant. He was great as well. He's he's a great caddy, top lad. He's quite he's quite chilled, so he, nothing really bothers him, but Mother's Day as well, which is even better. So I hope my mum back home's enjoying herself. Did he give you a little bit of a press on out there? Any words of wisdom from the youngster? Yeah, he just kept me in, just keep doing what you're doing, go for your shot. You know, that's all you can do is just get the process right. Just just pick your shot and hit it and um, make sure we had the right club and whatnot. But anyway, it was, yeah, he was as cool as a cucumber, no, no problem at all. Well, I think we can all quite safely say it ranks up there as one of the best days for your family so far. Congratulations on the win and uh, good job today. Thanks very much. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your, your help. Thank you very much. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here.